Hello and welcome to review uh, from Hammy Value Tech Reviews. In this video <coughs> I will be reviewing this Tronic battery tester that I purchased out of Lidl uh, just a short while ago uh, as, as well as I have just done a video on the Tronic battery charger as well. Uh, this will be a combined video <coughs> whereby I'll show you this battery tester and I will show you the little, the new range of little uh, batteries, and uh, sort of my, one of my reasons behind buying uh, some of the uh, the C the C size batteries, as well as uh, <coughs> the reasoning behind a lot of the other batteries that I've bought. Uh, so, uh, first thing I want to sh I'll show you about this here. This is a battery tester um, um, with LCD display. Uh, it uh, basically it, it will test uh, on this side uh, we have sorry first thing I should point out in the blister pack there was a bat a, a battery came with this uh, in a bliss in the blister pack this battery tester cost me three pounds ninety nine out of Lidl and it came with a battery uh, so that was very nice uh, in the blister pack so the model number of this is IAN. 277662 that's AAN 277662 uh, by Tronic so basically on this side what we have is a it, it, it'll do uh, this this side is to do with your AA your sorry your triple A your AA your C size and your D size battery because this tester will test all those batteries uh, so that shows you from 0 0.1 0 0.7 to 1.5 and it, it it, it it shows you an LCD graph, or sorry, a bar sort of bars, uh, on an increments the whole way up to one point five volts, where it would also say full at the top. So that's very nice. So the way this works is basically at the top you slide this out, and this accommodates. Uh, there's a there's a contact there at the top. Uh, as you can see, it says negative. That's your negative contact, and this is your positive contact. So we'll just take a, 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 a little, uh, sorry, a Tronic rechargeable battery, uh, just an, an AA, just for an example, and we will put it through. And there you can see the voltage is one point three volts, uh, and we'll I'll get onto that uh, uh, later on in this video. So that's one point three volts. So it's showing me the battery is probably due a charge. Uh, because these these are the nominal voltage of these nickel metal hydrides is one point two volts, but they can go up to about one point, just just under one point five, I think, uh, one point four anyway, uh, certainly uh, for these uh, um, nickel metal hydrides. So as I've said before, it does AA size. It'll do your triple uh, A. I just haven't got one uh, out at the minute. Uh, it'll do your. Uh, your D size, there's your D size in, uh, D size battery, 1.3 volts we have, and this is a volt, this is a voltmeter, it registers voltage, and it will do um, your C size, and I have to reduce this now for the C size, so just push it down, and again that's 1.3 volts, as you can see, 1.3 volts, yep, yeah. excuse me, so the next feature is I'll also do AA uh, triple A's as I've said, so they just you just slide that down. So it'll do your triple A's as well. I have the triple A's on the charge at the minute, so that's why I don't have any out at the minute. Um, this is your nine volt battery, the common nine volt battery that you'd have on a smoke alarm. <coughs> uh, normally they're alkaline that you would put in your smoke alarm, but you could you could use uh, in theory. There's no reason why you shouldn't use a. Um, this uh, rechargeable nickel metal hydride rechargeable uh, nine volt in your smoke alarm and save yourself a lot of money. Uh, uh oh, the battery companies won't like what I'm saying here. <laughs> um, but uh, the theory is there. Uh, I don't see any reason why not, other than they're quite low milliamp hours. They're only two hundred milliamp hours, so perhaps an alkaline will last a lot, lot longer than this. Um, uh, that will be proven. I am going to put this in my smoke alarm, so that's the reason why I bought it. 
Um, I have this fully charged, um, so we'll just show you how to uh, test this using this tester. On the bottom we have a plus and minus contacts, so we just turn the battery over to plus and minus, and we touch, and we see that that is a full 9 volt battery, it says full at the top, hope that comes across, absolutely full bar graph, there we go. So, very nice. Three ninety nine. Uh, it'll save me. It'll save you yeah, a lot of hassle with you know probing about with your multimeter uh, probes trying to get a voltage of a battery. Uh, very very nice wee tool um, to have in, in uh, handy. Anyway, so that's the battery tester. Um, put that to the side for now. The next thing I just want to talk about is these. Uh, are these? Uh, these uh, Tronic uh, <coughs> nickel metal hydride batteries. Now I bought these, uh, as I said just today, I bought them. Uh, I bought I bought uh, Tronic batteries before nickel metal hydride batteries. However, they were they weren't the Eco batteries, as you can see in this packaging, where it says Eco. Um, for example, this is the I don't have the this is the AAA uh, uh, nickel metal hydrides. And they are rated at 950 milliamps, and they're uh, up to a thousand charge cycles. They, all these batteries, which I'm going to show you, are a thousand uh, charge cycles, because they are low self discharge batteries, which it says on the back here. And I don't know if you can make that out. Low self discharge uh, will la um, after a year. These batteries, if you fully charge one of these batteries after a year. Um, the charge left in them will be 75%, unlike a standard, what it's claiming here, a standard nickel metal hydride battery. Uh, I think that's what it's saying. Standard rechargeable batteries, it's saying. Um, it, they will be down to zero uh, just with leakage. Uh, even if you don't put them in a the device, you have them hang, lying about. If you charge a normal rechargeable battery without that doesn't have the LSD, the low self-discharge, um, they will if they were sitting in your cupboard you'd say you charge them up and you sat them in your cupboard uh, after a year they would be down they would be it, it's claiming this package is claiming they'd be down to zero and it's fairly probable that they will be down in voltage a lot so you i mean they're not they wouldn't be they certainly would be would be requiring a, another charge that's for sure uh so fantastic value for money these were only 2.99 um each packet I'll show you. Uh, so you get four for two ninety nine, four triple A's and the double A's you also get uh, four and these are rated at 2300 milliamp hours and they all have the same spiel of a thousand cycles uh, and uh, the, the same, the 75% uh, the, 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 the after one year uh, they go the LS low self discharge batteries. So in theory you could Put these um, in something you, you don't use too often. You could actually have these as well. Um, I'm trying to think uh, what you would have about the house. Exactly the best example is a smoke alarm. That's why I think that, that this would be a good, actually, a good option in a smoke alarm because um, you're have the, with the low self discharge. You know, um, you're relying on the. I know that the, the, there'll be a, a slight current draw from your smoke alarm, even when it's not uh, alarming. But uh, these should last quite quite. Uh, these should last a few. Uh, hard to tell how long these will last in the smoke alarm. Um, but they, I think they should they should do the job for a while uh, and save you money on your um, your alkalines. Uh, so anything else to say about these? No. Um, pack of four for these trip, uh, double A's, and they're twenty three hundred milliamp hours. Uh, they were. Two ninety nine as well, and the as, as I've said, the triple A's were two ninety nine for a packet of four. The C size for a packet of two were two ninety nine. These are all two ninety nine, and again, it's all the same spiel. These are four thousand milliamp hours, so they're actually quite decent. They're quite a it's considerable uh, capacity in them. Um, um, C size. <coughs> they were also two ninety nine for two. Uh, the nine volt battery was two ninety nine. Oh, 
sorry, uh, was 299 and uh, it's only 200 milliamps. Um, so the D size was came in a pack of two and it's uh, 4,500 milliamps. And they're all like, oh, low self discharge batteries. And I have no reason, I have no reason to doubt that these will perform well. Um, I'm impressed with the price. Uh, for the, you really, you, 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 be, you would struggle to get bat, uh, decent batteries online, uh, uh, which are similar to Eneloops. I'm not saying these are as good as Eneloops, no way. But to the Sanio Pan Panasonic Eneloops, but uh, I think they will perform very well indeed. Um, I would be I would be surprised if they didn't perform well. I just want to get get to the next point is the reason why I bought eight of these. I bought four packets of these, four packets of two. The reason why I bought them is because the last time I built I built out of the Tronic the the non low self discharge four thousand Tronics batteries. I built this battery pack, I know it's uh, crude looking and uh, people will, on. Uh, I'll probably get a lot of comments about this. Uh, I used hot glue, this is a battery pack for my radio control car, I used uh, Tronic cells again, these are not the low self discharge, just the normal Tronic Energy 4000 cells and I have to say I've ha had loads of charges out of these and they perform flawlessly. The weight alone is, they're a bit heavy, yes. But they fit in my radio control car, that's why they're in this uh, format. And uh, I, I used battery bars, I've done it right, and I've, uh, uh, you can see there my bad soldering. Um, that's, that's a really bad attempt to show you because there's a blob of solder there. Forgetting that blob of solder, there's a battery, uh, a, uh, oh, what, a battery tab there. And the reason why I didn't cover it up more than a probably should have is because for heat this I have had them run through many as a charge just using my fusion fusion max charger which I might have a, a review in, in a later video and I've it's it was able to charge these eight up to eight cells so uh, at one amp uh, but I have had loads of charges out of it and loads of fun out of my radio control car and really this battery pack has performed very well I wouldn't say as good as a lipo but the I, I would say I'm getting 15C out of them, which means, uh, for anybody that doesn't know what 15C means, 15C is the maximum current burst, and if you multiply it 15 times 4,000, which is, but it's not 15 times 4,000, 15 times 4 amps, because it's 4,000 milliamps, so 15 times 4 is 60. So I reckon this battery pack was giving me 50 amp bursts in my radio control car and I have no no I have no doubt that it actually was because it has uh, performed flawlessly uh, other than me running them down a wee bit too low one time and I have recovered them um, by just uh, pumping them a wee bit more current than I should have but that has seems to have uh, that has rectified the, the problem there they're performing flawlessly now and real long, long run times. So I modified my radio control car so that they would fit in it. So I'll be making another battery pack, as I've said, out of these uh, low self discharge cells. And I'll give you, I'll uh, keep you posted on how that project will go for me. So at the minute, I haven't really any, I'm not in any rush to do it, but. I will do it and get back to you, and I'll maybe have another review. I'll maybe have a review on the Fusio Max um, charger uh, that I'm using for my radio control car as well. Okay, so thanks very much uh, for watching. I uh, hope this has been of some help. Um, quite impressed with the little batteries, and uh, time will tell. Uh, I've been impressed with these. Very impressed. I've had this now couple of years I would say and they've been they've been through a lot of charge cycles and I've had no no real other than I say run them a bit low and but I've seemed to have recovered them to their to their utmost capacity and the nice thing oh, oh, oh one couple more points uh, I suppose a couple more points one sort of one of the points is good and one of the points is bad relating to the same thing uh, 
these are supposed to be uh, ready to use. I, as I've just shown you there, uh, they're coming out at 1.3 volts. That to me is not ready to use. Um, but the uh, that to me is not a ready to use voltage. But at least they're all um, the same. They're all uh, um, coming up with the same voltage of 1.3 uh, volts. So that's that's my review uh, of the uh, Tronic uh, Ego batteries. At least they're all consistent with with 1.3 volts. All these batteries. Okay. Thanks for watching. Bye.